can't have a good show or whatever. You gotta vibe for a bit and then I'm gonna talk to you. All right? I'll talk to you soon. But for now, you gotta vibe with some Streets of Rage shit. The Streets of Rage 4 is, I think, maybe the best game I've ever seen in my life. Vibe on this and I'll be right back. Because it's fucking cool, man. Good music, too. So you just like imagine it's like 1994, uh, you know, it's like around 1994 or when Streets of Rage 2, because that was my favorite, you know, and it's just good times to play Streets of Rage with a buddy. The old days, you know what I mean? The old days. That you'd hang out with a buddy and like you'd watch a Bruce Lee movie, you know? Oh, that's what my shit was, you know? You buy with your shit? I wish I had glow sticks, but I don't, you know? That's good shit. in, you know, kind of like a, I don't know, a tribute to Dragnaught or something and the craziness he used to pull. Alright, so, I'm going to pull up Instagram so that I can see the chat because my eyes literally, okay, I, I need, I need help. <laughs> my eyes. So I'm going to the that was for fun to oh, vibe in, you know, oh, kind of like the, I don't know, shut up, Jay. To hey, drag hey, or something. Jay, Jay needs to shut up. What was that? All right, you're going to try and separate apartments and dating, what now? Huh? How, how are we doing? Hey, you know, stuff happens. Stuff happens and people act like assholes. Me. 
uh, and screw things up where, where it shouldn't be screwed up. You know, because Shani's loyal 100%, man. 28 live people, 31. God bless you all. You know, let's have fun. I'll talk to you. What's up, Butters? What's up, Deanna? You know, these the shit. Are you guys okay now? We're working on being okay. Yeah. Live separated. Absence makes the heart grow fine. I don't think that, I mean, that's an idea, I guess. But our idea right now, shit happens. Move forward best you can. Thank you, Butters. Yeah. I fucked up. That's it. And M60 talking about you? M60? Move forward the best you can. Yeah. That's exactly what we're going to do. A lot of the old married couples that separate bathrooms, separate children. Yeah, like my grandparents were separate like that. At uh, when they got older, own it and move forward. That's what I want to do, Light Pecker. That's yeah, exactly. Because I just took on the full pain, you know, and understood it fully. And now I just want to give love. I I want going forward nothing but love, and and no yelling, no fucking bullshit on my part, no bipolar on my part, bullshit. And I just want to love her and not think of any other fucking pussy ever. That's right. She's my girl. She's worthy of monogamy because she's been so messed with. And she's always been loyal. That's it. Wow. Rev, get a job. Thank you, uh, Ellis. Uh, Jess, you're awesome. What's up? And porn. Well, I don't know about porn. Both of you make mistakes. Everyone does. Forgiveness is important. Thank you, Imagine Beans. That's how I feel. I, I, I feel blessed that Shani ain't going to leave and we're going to go to couples therapy. I think that's awesome. I'm totally down, you know. She's the first woman in your relationship. You have urges that haven't been met to be a faithful person. That uh, There's a problem there. That came up today in discussing, yeah. That's true. And I'm going to work I'm going to not be like that now. There's something you should be saying in private. What the fuck? How's my shanty girl? Jess is she is playing Animal Crossing and chilling out. Tuki, what's up Tuki? The actions taken at this point that will help with redemption. Yeah, that's what I want, butters. I want to prove that I'm going to be faithful. Shanny is in there playing Animal Crossing chilling out. Tell Shan I love her. Jess loves you. Shanny loves you too, Jess. I hope the both of you are okay. Thank you, Piggy Mama. Send in love, positive healing. Thank you, Deanna. In the name of Jesus, healing. And all the white witches put up your good healing strength too. Because I believe you're of God. That's it. You're doing witchcraft that's bad and black and trying to hurt people. No, you're no good. But if you're white and it's healing, you're good. Sorry, M60. Who's M60? I, I'll definitely never be, uh, be one of the knock to knock therapy. Proud of y'all. Well, thank you. You guys are real nice tonight. Okay. And even if you weren't, I'd probably be in the mood. I'm really lifted in spirit by Jesus. Because I think a redemption arc is a, what's coming. It's a redemption arc. All the cool Christian witch chicks are like, card, hey, check it out. New beginning. You defeated the devil and you get a new start. Incredible. I think that's true. That's what's going to come. A restoration of many things. And it'll come how it comes. I don't really care how it comes. It's going to come though. Because I have something written in my Bible called the, the season of vindication. And I know it's signed by Christ to happen. And you want to know something crazy? 
I wrote it back in September of 2020. Gee, man, he, that guy's going to get a blessing too. Isn't that not? Jesus is coming. That's correct, baby. <coughs> Jesus is coming. You better be ready for that. You keep looking at the clouds. You see some crazy stuff in the sky, man. Okay? You better believe he's coming. I get my Bible and preach until 7 a.m. Shout out to, to the worst in the internet. I agree. Shout out to them. Some, some of these people that do reactions are actually pretty good at it. And some, man, you guys came up with songs that, that sound like produce, produced, like professionally produced songs. Like, I'm impressed with that. Shout out to the worst on the internet. Go sub. I'm ready. You're ready, baby, for Jesus? I hope he comes tonight. It could be any second. I believe Gaza, it's, it's, that's the tribulation. Everything that you heard Jesus talk about in Matthew 24 is happening in Gaza and the West Bank. He's saying it's going to be so bad. Woe to them that give suck in those days to the children. How many children have been slaughtered in Gaza and the West Bank? The number is astronomical. It's a slaughter of innocence of Jesus' blood, the blood of the martyrs. And you have evangelical Christianity, probably in most part, John Hagee, disgusting sacks of trash, Zionists, pigs, that are telling their Christian parishioners that the right, right people to support is the demonic Khazarian satanics. Oh, I can't do this because it's too much. Yeah, well, I did it. I'm Revelation News. How you doing? JWE here. I'm back. Not depressed. Feeling good. Did my first live earlier. Well, cool, Butters. I hope you have great success, Butters. Run, Rev, Road, stay, stop. All right. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, you can't do it here. I hate that. I don't like that. Well, you're marked. I see your name. Sorry, but you'll get another chance here if you do that again. This run, Reverie, you're gone forever. You get one more chance. I'm going to remember your name. Baby K Boob. Hey, Rev, get me at soon. I have an idea. All right, Light, Light Pecker Saber. I, if anybody out there wants to do the Rev Rolly cigarette idea, do it. And then email me at my email. <coughs> And give me 10% of what you make, and you can make all the money you want with my face, lightness, and cigarettes. We'll do a photo shoot. I'll be uh, some weird metal uh, Marlboro guy, but it's Rev Rollies. Rev Rolly brand, folks. Yeah, I get in the character. We'll do it and make money. Because I want to make money. I do. I have to. It's a responsibility of me as a male to take care of this. And I want to. I want to take care of Shani and the boys. Again, we were fine, but we were harassed into por poorness. We were harassed into poorness. Isn't that wild? That's what happens when you have stalkers chase you out of your own houses. I'll be right back after these messages. I'll get off. Exactly, that's what I'm going to say. I would like you guys to understand something. I feel like I have to yell because the phone's over here, but I know you can hear me pretty good. Okay. Do you realize the amount of stress that Shannon has gone under the last two weeks? Come on, the song is good. Well, if it's a song, that's fine, but I'm not, we're, we're not, I'm just saying, yeah, I know one of the songs is Run, Rev, Run, but, the, but the, listen, the sentiment behind that is really toxic and shit, okay? Trolls say that to her all the time and say it to me like she's abusing me, so that's, and she's not, period, okay? End of story. 
that shit won't, you're not going to survive here because it's for her mental health, which I want to tell you about. Uh, she had to confront this shit hospital, all this dog shit, all this stuff happened in her life, tons of people trying to talk to her at the same time, and when she came home, I hit her with, yeah, I was doing some bad shit that you need to know about. All of that at the same fucking time, and I contributed to it, it's mainly me, that all of this is because of. Dog shit, fuck here. Yeah, Jesus called me dog shit. He said, you like to say dog shit in those streams a lot, Jay. Guess what? You're dog shit. You know what you did to Shannon. You need to tell her. So I did. And it did look like she was going to be like, no, I'm fucking done. Now, I'm the one done. And I don't blame her for one fucking millisecond. If that shit was done to me and it was her, I would have been massively devastated. And I'm an asshole. You could do feet stuff on my sister if it did. What? Okay. I hope you're doing all right, too. Your life matters, Jason. I'm all right, Anna. Thank you. I'm okay. But divide and conquer stuff, you think you all say stuff to Shani and it's going to make me pissed off. Or you say stuff to me nice and it's going to piss off Shani. That ain't going to work with us, man. We're in this relationship, as far as I could see, until God says otherwise. And I want to be. I want to serve her because I like to serve. I, my mom got was sick and I served her that way. And I'm going to do that for Shannon as long as she's here and wanting to be around me. But yeah, I love her. So none of it matters. But like, I don't, like, you want to try and make this breakup arc. And that's not, that's the satanic one side road. Which the devil almost made me fucking do. I put an X null in my Bible next to our marriage certificate. That Satan did that. And then when I was in a better state of mind and I was alone and I said, oh my God, I did that. I went upstairs and I made the X into an infinity symbol that's filled. To, or uh, sorry, an hourglass that's filled to the top that you can't. I would call it an infinity glass. It's a, t it's a time. It's a fucking... One of those sand timekeepers, but it's filled all the way to the top. And you go that way, that way. It's infinite time. We're together, we're together forever because it's meant to be. It's ordained by Jesus. And what he puts together, no fucking asshole, me, can tear us under. Or any woman can tear us under. Any person, physicality. The only one that could tear this relationship apart is Jesus Christ. Now, since I'm kind of feeling it and whatever, I just want to talk to you for a second, nothing crazy, about the previous guy she was with. He actually did it. Okay? He stuck his prick in someone else. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you think that that is not a sin as a Christian, you're wrong. Fidelity to the creator, to your spouse, is like your fidelity to the father to not worship other gods. That's how much fidelity in a marriage means. And I don't have any other God but Jesus Christ, period. Full stop. So my point is, is how the fuck can Belial and Jesus be in the same room? The answer is they can. If you have Balaam doctrine and you say you worship Yahweh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Ishmael. Oh, can I add that? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Ishmael. Because guess what? The rejected is first and the last, right? 
The last shall be first and the first shall be last. The Hebrews are on the dog shit pile now. And Ishmael's kids and Esau's kids are blessed and favored by the Lord. You got it? Malachi. This is the Holy Spirit speaking to Israel. You repent now or you will all burn. A burning that will never cease. Have you heard of the lake of fire, B.B. Netanyahu? Have you heard of the lake of fire? Hmm? Do you think it's funny to have Palestinian children burned alive? Let's see that. Like it's lava. Like this lava, right? You're burning children alive. You worship Baal. Burning in a furnace. See, it's like hot coals all over me. BB, I'm a child in Gaza and I'm being consumed by flames. Will you save a child? No. Why? Because they're on my land. I'm Israel high and we is we who are called Israel, which means we wrestle with God and win. Yeah, you're going to hell. Because you slaughtered the innocents like Herod. You want to witness against these disgusting Khazarian Satanists. It's right here, right now, with one of the two witnesses. One of the two witnesses. Moses, Enoch, same spirit. And it's right here now. Thus saith the Lord God Almighty, Israel will have a massive earthquake that will cause massive damage and will kill about 7,000 people. Thus saith the Lord, it is written in this word that that will happen. And it's now is the time it's going to happen. You better believe it. You need to be shaken to every spiritual fucking thing that you have in you, Netanyahu. Have you ever believed in Hashem, the name? Did you ever believe in that name, the real name, the unknown God name, yod heh vav -Heh, that was given to your forefather Abraham? Did you ever believe in him? Or have you always believed in nothing but Balaam? Being Polish, Khazar. Have you repented of your Khazarian Satanism? Baal Shem Tov, founder of Hasidism. Have you repented of that and turned back to Yahweh, the true, the light, Yeshua, the light, Ish, the beginning, Genesis 1-1, John 1-1, Yohanan 1-1, and Bereshith 1-1, BB, repent. That's how you do it. Supplication stance on your knees, BB. You know this. And go back. If you were ever there, Mason, renounce your ties to Masonry and come to Yeshua. Lunishia. It's now or not. Repent. You get more time. Because you know Yeshua is about to tear the clouds if you don't stop this shit. The Spirit of the Lord spoke. That's it. I'm done. I wish I had my tattoos as sigils because it would be done. You'd see a flash of light. It'd be fucking nuts. God bless you guys. I hope you had a great... This is Jason William Egroff, Revelation News with the Spirit of Christ, who's a sheepdog warrior that will protect. That's it.